You want me to put that on my todger? Harry's wife, such a big baby. Certain narcissists are entirely dismissive. From a lofty perch of superiority, wealth, status, networking, they look down on little people and scoff. They barely hear the chitter-chatter of the hoi polloi, but if they do, they dismiss it. Not lowering themselves to need to explain themselves to the chattering classes. They occupy the rarefied atmosphere. They are the colossi that stride the world, making decisions affecting outcomes for millions of people. And the fact that some people criticise them is neither here nor there. They brush it off if those little voices somehow are heard by those particular narcissists. Other narcissists, of course, cannot help themselves but become preoccupied with what is being said about them. Of course, this is partly as a consequence of the fuel provision, but also born out of their rampant paranoia and the need to control. We know that Harry's wife scours social media and the news media to find out what is being said about her because her mid-range narcissism leads her to that point. She simply cannot help it. She needs to know. And she also, to put it in base terms, gets but hurt by many of the things that are written. Why? Well, because it's a challenge to her notion of superiority and all-round goodness. The fact is, some narcissists would see what they see in the press and simply laugh at it and think, how they don't know me. Oh, that's idiotic. And they've got much more important things to do than engage in some petty vendetta against a particular person or news outlet because they've criticised them. They've got bigger fish to fry, quite simply. And they assert control by staying in a position of withdrawal and being dismissive. After all, if you're worth billions and you've just nailed some hottie in your mansion whilst eating showgirl out of caviar's bottom, what the hell do you care about what some hack has written about you? Of course, there are some that are able to set the agenda and the narrative because they have access to the media, both in terms of ownership of newspapers, broadcasters, particular programmes, production companies, etc., and utilise that in order to get their message out there. But there are some narcissists, of course, that bellyache about the way that they're spoken about and go complaining to a particular news outlet in the expectation of currying sympathy, which subconsciously is enabling them to indirectly assert control over what is being said or written about them. Harry's wife falls into this category because she's such a big baby. She lacks the capacity to be dismissive with much of what is written about her. First of all, nosy, paranoid and controlling, she needs to know what is being said and what is being written about her. So she dives in amongst the cesspit that is mainstream media and social media. She hears what is being said about her, watches the videos, reads what people are writing about her. Those which, of course, are favourable provides her with pure fuel. But there are huge amounts of challenge fuel because there's an increasing number of people who really don't like her. Then, having seen something which is a problem for her, sometimes she will assert control indirectly by complaining about it to the Prince of Pink Pancakes or some long-suffering member of staff. But in some instances, she goes, to far, goes so far as to positively instruct a news outlet to pump out some PR puffery to try and counteract what is being said about her. This is demonstrative, of course, of her mid-range status, shows how it really does get to her and reinforces the fact that she's just a big baby, i.e. with that waffa thin skin, which is so easy to penetrate and threaten her sense of control. We see this in an article that has just recently been released by Newsweek, which tells us, Fact check. Harry's wife, Prince Harry and SVB. What we do know, what we don't. So quite simply, the recent collapse of SVB has been linked to problems for Harry's wife and Harry, see parts passing, basically that they've lost money, and also that Better Up are involved with SVB, which of course Harry's involved with, and thus this may well create a bit of a shitstorm for the Harkles. The fact is that speculation about the financial status 
because no one will truly know in terms of those that have offered opinions is such that it gets under Harry's wife's skin to such a degree that she then has to instruct Newsweek to counter it. That's how pathetic she is. Let's find out the detail. The collapse of Silicon Valley Bank after customers ran to withdraw deposits and investments exposed a large vulnerability in the financial sector, with potential repercussions for other companies and institutions. The Californian bank precipitated a run by its customers and investors after it had to sell a $21 billion bond portfolio to meet withdrawal requests from depositors, subsequently announcing it needed investors to fill a $1.75 billion gap left from the loss-making sale. Its collapse, the biggest since the 2008 global financial crisis, has triggered anxieties that further banking and corporate failures may yet come. Reuters reported on Monday that several market indicators of credit risk were showing signs that investors fear contagion. The disaster also inspired a series of rumours, drawing attention to some of the public figures who could be damaged by the crisis. In particular, speculation has landed at the door of Prince Harry and Harry's wife, threat to control. Having both settled and made business connections in California, rumours appeared online suggesting that the couple may be exposed to the SVB collapse. After Harry and Harry's wife stepped back as senior members of the royal family in 2020, they no longer receive funding through the Sovereign Grant, a payment made to the royal household by the UK government every year. This independence led to scrutiny of their financial arrangements. The possibility that any wealth or income they have amassed since 2020 could be at risk through the SVB collapse is a tantalising prospect for the pair's critics and journalists. But what can we say about the claims? Of those to spring up online over the past few days, most are speculative, examining the possibility that Harry and Harry's wife could be swept up by the SVB collapse as many others have. One tweet posted by user at Amuse, who has previously posted dubious claims online, said, The only positive news coming out of the Silicon Valley Bank collapse is that Prince Harry had his worldwide privacy tour and book advance in the bank. For now, he's completely broke. Imagine that, that a tweet by someone not even famous at Amuse has to be picked out by Harry's wife and that Newsweek has to be instructed to say something about it. That shows how sensitive to criticism she is. The tweet by at Amuse, viewed more than 100,000 times, referenced another account at iSource News, which on March the 11th, 2023, posted, Breaking, Harry and Harry's wife stand to lose millions in collapse of SVB Bank. Sources tell ISN the couple set up accounts following the advice of friends in Silicon Valley. This is a major blow, said our source. They had all of Harry's money there. That tweet, viewed 4.7 million times, does not provide any evidence at all to support its claims beyond unnamed sources. Furthermore, at iSource News made a misleading claim about the couple in the same thread about SVB. An accompanying tweet, which shows a picture of Harry behind the wheel of a car, stated, Exclusive. Grim-looking Harry spotted driving away from Monte Shitcho following collapse of SVB. He didn't seem his usual self, said an onlooker. However, the photo used was not taken after the collapse of SVB, it was taken in 2022 as the couple was driving to visit Oprah Winfrey, shows a report by the Daily Mail. On the deposit side, the US financial authorities have said all depositors with money at SVB will be fully protected. Depositors will have access to all of their money starting Monday, March 13th, said a joint statement from the Treasury Federal Reserve and Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. So even if the couple had money deposited with SVB, and it's not clear that they did, that cash is protected by the financial authorities. Harry and Harry's wife will lose nothing they had deposited at SVB. So again, the fact is that Harry's wife sees this speculation about their financial circumstances in tweets coming from what are not major accounts, merely speculative ones, and it gets to her to so much that she has to respond to it by instructing Newsweek to try and nullify the threat to control by countering the information that has been put out there. What's also interesting is the blatant propaganda that Harry's wife needs pumped out suggests that they're not going to lose any money. Well, this does suggest that they do have money of SVB and of course the cap 
is $250,000 in terms of the uh, FDIC protection that's offered. And therefore, they may all lose something if they've got more than a quarter of a million, which is suspected that they have at SVB. But this shows again the lengths to which Harry's wife has to go to nullify these threats to control. This obvious attempt to nullify threat to control by proxy by using Newsweek continues. One tweet by user at the wanton wench posted on March 11th, 2023, viewed 24,000 times, asked what impact the collapse of SVB will have on Prince Harry and Harry's wife's partnership with investment bank Ethic. Rumours abound that they have the vast majority of their wealth banked with them. It's true Harry's wife and Harry joined as impact partners at investment company Ethic Inc. in 2021, according to a report by the New York Times Dealberg. Ethic, which completed a $50 million seed funding round in late 2022, did have shares in parent company SVB Financial Group, valued at $881,206 as of December 2022. They are now worth nothing. While such a write-off is not insignificant, Ethics total holdings as of December 2022 came to more than $1.85 billion, of which SVB Financial Group represented 0.05%. If Ethic had any cash deposits at SVB, as stated previously, those are protected by the financial authorities. So given its relatively small investment, it does not appear that Ethic is impacted substantially by the collapse of SVB. By extension, while the finer details of Harry and Harry's wife's financial involvement with Ethic are not publicly known, it follows that they too will not feel any substantial impact. Newsweek has contacted Ethic through its website to ask for further details about the impact partner arrangement and what advice it was providing its investors following SVB's collapse. Put together, the lack of evidence to support any claims of Ethic's vulnerability suggests these rumours ought to be treated with scepticism, at least for now. Another line of inquiry is the couple's involvement in the mental health startup BetterUp, where Harry became Chief Impact Officer, or Chimp Officer as I call it, in 2021. In 2019, BetterUp announced that it received a $103 million funding round from a number of companies, including SVB. The company has raised even greater sums since then, according to its press releases from investors unaffiliated with Silicon Valley Bank. BetterUp does not appear to be immediately exposed by SVB and has had a wide range of investors. BetterUp's SEC filings do not reveal any holdings or investments with SVB either. Again, it's not clear what financial arrangements Harry has as chimp officer with BetterUp, and there doesn't appear to be any evidence to suggest that the SVB collapse has hit his finances as a result of this relationship. Newsweek has asked BetterUp's press office if its SVB funding was secured and of the potential consequences following the bank's collapse. Harry and Harry's wife have also created 11 companies across a wide variety of ventures, including two publishing firms and entertainment companies, the Daily Mail reported. None of these companies have publicised connections to SVB. Most of the firms, apart from Bay or Bob Holdings, writes Holdings, but I think they mean Holdings, LLC, set up in February 2021, are not investment vehicles, so the likelihood of immediate exposure to SVB does not seem apparent. These companies could have been depositors with SVB, but that is not known. Neither Harry nor Harry's wife have spoken about investments or deposits in SVB. Regardless, deposits in SVB are protected anyway. Again, at Newsweek, not to the extent that you think they are. SVB's downfall may well have an indirect impact on Harry and Harry's wife via their other investments, as the broader financial and economic fallout unfolds in the coming weeks, similar to anyone else. However, of what little information is available, none amounts to proof that the Sussex's wealth has been drained as a result of the crisis at SVB. So imagine this, that in she's such a big baby that she sees on social media tweets about their financial status. This subconsciously threatens her sense of control that motivates her to instruct Newsweek to issue essentially this rebuttal. Wah, wah, wah. Not for her, the efficacy of the greater or the ultra, of swatting away and ignoring such tittle-tattle. No, it really does get to her, and it shows as a consequence of this response by the big baby. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.